So with a recent update to the GoodLock app, we now have compatibility with Samsung's One UI 2.0. And with this update come a few new tricks. Now, if you haven't heard of GoodLock, it basically allows you to customize several parts of the UI and can also add a lot of functionality. It's available free to download from the Galaxy Store. So for starters, we have Multistar, which seems to have gotten the most changes. Now within the settings, we can see that they added a couple of new toggles. You can adjust the size of the gesture of the pop-up view action. So if you had trouble activating it before, it will now come easier. It basically allows you to bring the app you're in to a pop-up view and place it anywhere. Also within multi-star, key pop-up view should now remember the last time you used an app in that mode and should keep the sizing in area where you last placed it, which should be handy for some. Again, you can toggle it on and off depending on whether or not you use it. Another feature within Multistar is prevent pop-up view minimization, which is really handy. Basically, instead of minimizing your pop-up view every time you hit the home button, it will now keep it up and running as opposed to having to reopen it every time. We also have the ability to launch any app into multi-window by pressing on the most recent key. But again, that'll only work if you use the three button nav bar layout. Fortunately, it won't work with gestures. I personally didn't have any luck with that. In addition, some minor changes with Task Manager. We did get a vertical stacker layout for your most recent apps, which brings back memories from the Android 5 lollipop days. Nice little throwback there. But jumping over to Quick Start, with the update, we now get the ability to center the clock in the status bar. That is, of course, if you have anything but a centered hole punch. So us no 10 users are out of luck with this one. There's also an improvement with colors and transparency when customizing the notification dropdown. We also get an extremely useful feature, One Hand Operation Plus, which comes in really handy with these larger Galaxy devices. You can add custom app shortcuts with gestures, for example, if you want to launch the camera app, but want to go directly into video, you can set it up that way if you like. In addition, you can now change the color of the curved lines, which gives you more customization. And you can launch a quick tool tap that allows you to change a few system settings, as well as a small task switcher that allows you to jump between your most recent apps. Really useful feature that I've actually found myself using more often than not. Naughty Star is now worth using now that they added a feature to where you can see and customize the arrows before you kind of had to poke around to see where the activation was. You can also now customize colors and place it wherever you'd like within the lock screen, which of course now makes it usable. So it basically allows you to view your most recent notifications, even if you've cleared them through the notification panel, but you can also interact and clear them permanently by just swiping them away. It's a useful feature to have, especially if you've accidentally cleared something you might not have wanted to. Over with Theme Park, we now get some dark mode theming to the overall app. As opposed to before, it would change minor details within the app to black like messaging bubbles but would we'll keep the background as is. Plus, it now gives you the ability to customize a lot of the details to whatever color you'd like, which again is pretty neat. But anyways, that's been it. If you know of something I missed, drop a comment down below. If you enjoyed, make sure you hit that like button as well as subscribe for more videos like this, and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.